Alrighty, guys, it is the first week of June, but we are going to go do, we are going to go do, we are doing, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I've been filming all day. I'm sorry, guys. We are going to suggest our books for that we're going to read for June slash July. Because our book club goes for five weeks, we always kind of go into the following month. So right now we are currently reading If One of Us Is Back. I just finished it. So, so good. I can't wait to get into the discussion. Um, but our f so there's five videos that are tied to that book the reveal which was two weeks ago last week which was the treat so the things we ate drank used while reading the book and then this week is the suggestions for the following next book club the fourth week is the questions and the fifth week is the final wrap-up review so the next week you guys will be hearing the questions the following week will be the review and then we will get into the new book so we always do the suggestions i suggest two books charmaine suggests two books and we ask you guys to make suggestions in the comments and then it'll go in either my voting poll I mean, it'll go in a voting poll either on my community tab or Charmaine's community tab. We switch off every other month. I do believe it is my turn this time. So by doing it like two weeks before we need a reveal, it gives time for me to get suggestions from you guys. You know, put in the two that Charmaine suggested, the two I suggested, and turn it into a poll and post on the community tab. It gives you guys time to vote. By the time the reveal comes around, we know who the winner is. So Charmaine is suggesting two books. And I am suggesting two books. So head on over to watch Charmaine if you haven't already. She'll be linked in the title and description box. Um, because we are reading this for June slash July, it, I just realized that today it makes two years. We started book club two years ago in June, and we read Red, White, and Royal Blue, which is now a movie on Netflix. And I had suggested uh, that book because I said, oh, you know, June is Pride Month. Maybe we should read a book either by an LGBTQ author or an LGBTQ um storyline you know so that's what we did last year as well last year in june we read the seven husbands of evelyn hugo which is one of my most favorite incredible books it is such a good book um so i'm going to suggest two more that have lgbtq ties to either the author or the book itself um i believe both of these authors are lgbtq i know for sure one of them is the other one i believe is as well um and they are these two books so we have the gunkle by stephen rowley who is a gay author and it's about gay characters and then we have pumpkin by julie murphy who i do believe is queer julie murphy is one of my absolute favorite authors she is a plus size author that usually writes about plus size characters i have read a lot of her books i have a julie murphy section on my bookshelf that i absolutely love and this is one of the books i have not read yet by her that i have been dying to read so i want to include this and the book is called pumpkin and i've already read um pudding and dumplin and I think Dumplin' is the first one. Yeah, Dumplin' was actually made into a Netflix movie. And it's about a girl who decides to join a beauty pageant. A plus-size girl who decides to join a beauty pageant. And her mother is Jennifer Aniston. And I really struggled because I love Jennifer Aniston. But she's not the greatest character in that movie or in the book. I mean, obviously in the book, you don't have to imagine Jennifer Aniston. But anyway, um, really, really good book. I loved it. Then I heard there was a second one. And then this is, I believe, the third. Uh, but basically, it's not a series. Well, it is a series, but they're standalones. You don't have to read all three, um, or I want to suggest it, obviously. But there is crossover with characters. So put in, it, it is about a girl who who you see in brief sections of Dumplin'. So Pumpkin is a male main character, and it says, This year's prom's a drag. And I get what I, I, I will read the synopsis quickly, but I believe it's he's voted for prom queen as almost like a joke but then he decides to take it in stride and actually does run for prom queen so it says do you mind turning on that light babe it's getting a little dark in here okay better waylon russell brewer is a fat openly gay boy stuck in a small west texas town oh that must be rough of clover city his plan is to bide his time until he can graduate move to austin with his twin sister clementine and finally go full waylon so that he can live his julie the hills are alive with the sound of music and and andrew's truth i love that so when Clementine deviates from their master plan right after Waylon gets dumped, he throws caution to the wind and creates an audition tape. Oh, no, it is a little different than what I thought. Or maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. For his favorite TV drag show, Fiercest of Them All, what he doesn't count on is the tape getting accidentally shared with the entire school. Okay, I was right. As a result, Waylon is nominated for prom queen as a joke. Clem's girlfriend, Hannah Perez, who receives a joke nomination for prom queen 
king. So a woman is nominated for prom, a lesbian woman is nominated for prom king, and him as a gay man is nominated for prom queen. And it says, Waylon and Hannah decide there's only one thing to do, run and leave high school with a bang, a very glittery bang. Along the way, Waylon discovers that there is a lot more to running for prom court than campaign posters and plastic crowns, especially when he has to spend so much time with a very cute and infuriating prom king nominee, Tucker Watson. Waylon will need to learn the best plan for tomorrow is living for today, especially with the help of some fellow queens and then if you read julie murphy i just want to see i know she is married to a man but that doesn't mean she's not queer um it says yeah lives in north texas with her husband who loves her her dog who adores her and her cats who tolerate her that's funny after several wonderful years in the library world julie now writes full-time when she's not writing she can be found we found watching made for tv movies hunting for the perfect slice of cheese pizza or planning her next great adventure. She's the author of young adult novels, Put In, Ramona Blue, Side Effects May Vary, Fate Taking Flight, and Dumplin'. Now a Netflix original film. She is also author of middle grade novel, Dear Sweet Pea. So it actually doesn't say in her about me. But I'm almost certain. But, um, yeah, I have... I haven't read it yet, but I actually did buy Sweet Pea, even though it's like a middle school book. And I have... I've read Dumplin'. I don't own the book, though. And I have put in i would like to buy dumplings so i have the whole set um and then i've been wanting to get ramona blue and side effects may vary i believe both of them are on my wish list on amazon so that is my first one pumpkin and i feel like i would relate to it even more now than ever since i work at a high school and then we have the gunkle and if i remember correctly i believe he inherits his niece and nephew um, I don't know if it's a temporary basis or like a permanent basis, but it's like a, almost like a coming of age. Like obviously he's an older man, so it's not like he's coming of age, like that kind of story. But it, he, he wakes up and he sees there's more to life than just like what he was doing before. So let's see. It says Patrick or gay uncle Patrick, Gup for sure, G-U-P, gay uncle Patrick. That's cute. Has always loved his niece, Macy, and nephew, Grant. That is, he loves spending time with them when they come out to Palm Springs for week-long visits or when he heads home to Connecticut for the holidays. But in terms of caretaking and relating to two children, no matter how adorable, Patrick is honestly overwhelmed. So when tragedy strikes and Macy and Grant lose their mother and Patrick's brother has a health crisis of his own, Patrick finds himself suddenly taking on the role of primary guardian. Despite having a set of gunkle rules ready to go, Patrick has no idea what to expect. Having spent years barely holding on after the loss of his great love, a somewhat stalled acting career, and a life that's not too suited to a six and a nine-year-old, quickly realizing that parenting, even if temporary, isn't solved with treats and jokes. Patrick uh, opens his eyes to a new sense of responsibility and the realization that sometimes even being larger than life means you're unfailingly human. With humor and heart, the Gunkle is a moving tribute to the power of love, patience, and family in the most trying of times. And I have been dying to read this one as well. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't read them yet. Sadly, I don't have as much free time now that I'm back at school. Um, I'm dying for the summer just so I can read again. Um, so I am recommending these two books. Hopefully one of them wins. If not, it's A-OK. -okay. It's happened before. Um, if not, I gotta try to read it on my own time. That's what I like about book club. It kind of forces me to read it. And I ended up joining an in-person one, two in-person ones for the summer. One is like, I'm only gonna do July's book. Um, they do me, I don't know if it's every month or every other, but I'm only committing to July because I go back to school soon. It's gonna be too much. Um, the other one my friend is making. So I would like to go every month. Um, so that means I have to read at least two books every month because the one for this virtual book club and then one for that physical book club. So I ho I'm hoping I can handle that. In the summer, I'll be fine. It's like once I go back to work and I'm back in school and all that. Um, but I really do want to find more time for self-care and things I like and enjoy. Um, even once summer is over and I go back to school in September, school and work as a student and a worker because I work at a school. I'm hoping I can find that balance. We shall see because I would love to read more. Reading is one of my favorite pastimes. It really helps my self-care. I'm so thankful for Charmaine who shares her audio app with me because that's how I've been able to read more now. Um, and it's been really helping my mental health because I can't sit down and read a physical book every day like I wish I could. But I can fit in an audio book. You know, I listen to it on the way to work, on the way back from work, cooking, cleaning, in the shower. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Charmaine. Um, you guys make your suggestions down below. I don't think... I don't, Charmaine had texted me that she forgot and I don't think she recommended books 
with gay characters and gay authors, which is totally fine. So you guys don't necessarily have to suggest those as well. But since it's June, if you want to, definitely consider it. I know I wanted to since I had these two and I've been wanting to read them anyway. If you've read either of these and you enjoyed them, let me know in the comments. Obviously, no spoilers, but I'm curious to see what you guys thought of them. But that is it for this video. Like I said, Charmaine is linked. Go check her out. Leave your suggestions. Um, we have a Facebook group. I will link that down below. We also have Fable, which is a free app where we can discuss the book we're currently reading, which is One of Us is Back. Um, that one's really nice because it's by chapters. So if you haven't got to the end, but you really want to talk about something, you can go into that chapter and whatever you want to talk about. And then like I can go in and talk to you or Charmaine can go in or whoever. But it's nice that it's you can't get spoilers because unless the person really screws up and writes in the wrong chat room. But everything is like separated by chapters. Um you know, because sometimes we only really talk about the book in the last video. So within those five weeks, if you really want to talk about something, you can hop on the Fable app and go into the chapter and we can chat a little bit. So I'll leave all those links down below. Um, and that's basically it for this video, guys. You guys have seen this on a Monday. Monday is always my book club days. Tuesdays and Thursdays are usually unboxings and hauls. Wednesdays, what's up Wednesday, can be, but it can be different every week. Fridays usually my vlog. Saturdays use my outfits of the week. I did kind of fail this weekend that just passed. I did not post my outfits of the week or my um vlog time has just been flying by I, I i sometimes 24 hours in a day is not enough especially with how tired i've been i let myself sleep in on the weekends and it kind of screws me over but i finally feel well rested um but i've been sleeping in a lot so it hasn't been giving me like i literally slept till two two saturdays in a row so be, so i have it's a big block of time that i could be using to edit the vlogs and stuff and i haven't so um this week's a little bit different you're seeing this on monday usually tuesday and thursday's arm boxing and hauls but this way so i can play catch up a little bit tuesday's gonna be the vlog that was supposed to go up on friday wednesday's gonna be my normal what's up wednesday it is a little bit of a haul it's like a cool mystery haul you guys might want to check that out thursday will be the outfits of the week that was supposed to go up saturday and then i'll be caught up and then friday will be the regular vlog again saturday will be the regular outfits of the week again and so on and so forth so i do vlogs plus size fashion content unboxings hauls mystery haul mystery boxes um i get fab fit fun goldie box balance box um obviously i do book club with charmaine i do book calls from time to time so if any of that interests you definitely get to the subscribing hit that notification bell so you're notified next time i upload if you like the video like me Give the, uh, you like Charmaine, you like book club videos, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm, helps get it out there. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Comment down below your suggestions. I'm sorry, brain fart. And like I said, let me know if you've read any of these. Just no spoilers, of course. And be safe.